Hi guys, thank you so much for your lovely comments, uh, the messages I, I got and the reactions uh, of the video about the Indian yellow. Um, first of all, like I said in uh, the caption, the pigment I have here from the Indian yellow is directly from the puree ball, so it's not a refined version of the pigment. What I've made over here, the swatch I made over here, comes from uh, this residue that, that came from the bowl. Um, I'm not sure if, if the actually refined pigment looked the same. I think it looked a little bit more yellow um, when I'm looking at the research I've done on the internet and in books. Um, but let's compare what I have. First of all, um, in the comments, some people already named uh, nickel azo yellow and nickel dioxime yellow uh, to compare them with. This is my Indian yellow from the mixing palette, uh, which I really like. Um, the Indian yellow that some uh, brands use and Grema uses it as imitation Indian yellow is nickel azo yellow PY150. Uh, um, and they're all swatched and dried. Um, I also added gamboge, natural gamboge resin uh, to compare since this is sometimes called imitation gamboge or gamboge hue. Uh, but just let's have a look what the colors do in their mass tone and their transparency. So uh, the nickel azo yellow is darker in its mass tone and very vibrant, almost radioactive like yellow in uh, in its transparent form. This is a property of this pigment or pigment family. My green gold PY129 has this same quality. So all, a lot duller in mass tone, but very vibrant in its transparent form. Uh, going to the genuine Indian yellow, uh, it is a very warm, almost earth-like yellow. I think it's the oxidation that happened uh, uh, on the on the bowl of puree, but um, still in its transparency, it's a very bright, warm yellow. I like it as a color. It's nothing really special, actually. It's very special to work with and and and, and hold it, and uh, the opportunity that, that 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 I'm even able to make paint out of this is amazing. But <laughs> as a yellow itself, I wouldn't really buy it it's not that special um, uh, as a color all right <laughs> so as a pigment it's amazing it's fantastic historically uh, 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 I think it's it's priceless uh, but yeah as a color um, I can work with this too um, although this one is discontinued since 2012 I have a large amount of the pigment so um, my Indian yellow it's way more orange than the other two so it's it's way more to the orange side uh, in mass tone but in its transparent form here they are very similar i think this is a little bit warmer but they are very similar the pigments do not look alike um, this is almost like uh, a burned ochre when when you're using it as a pigment um, but when you're making paint out of it it's it gets it looks like a, a, a raw umber or something very dark earthy but it wets up very bright this pigment um, also quite earth like almost like a, a green ochre or a green umber color um, when you're making paint out of it this yellow it's really surprising uh, this however as a pigment it's orangey yellow when you're making paint out of it it gets even orangier um, <laughs> gets more orange um, but as a paint it's a very bright vivid yellow looking at the gamboge I've never made paint out of the gamboge so I just swatched um, the resin itself directly as you can see over here it's a very even bright yellow uh, when we're looking at it like this in its transparency it's kind of in between here i think uh, i get why they use this as a substitute for indian yellow and i get why this was a indian yellow cube but 
looking at its life fastness and its toxicity um, it's good that you know people don't use this anymore since we have wonderful modern alternatives for it um, like I said it's been amazing to be able to work with this one I'm very very glad that I have natural gamboge as well I'm very happy to have a stock of of uh, the nickel dioxime yellow and I'm just very glad that I can show you this and share it with you so if you have any questions leave it down this video and I'm uh, happy to answer everything so this was my comparison of these pigments I hope you like it um, this is the second very rare and special pigment I'm uh, I've made uh, first one Paris green if you haven't seen it scroll down in my uh, uh, grid it's somewhere over there uh, as a color not very special as a pigment amazing historically uh, uh, amazing to have and work with um, Indian yellow right over here and the third one I'm going to make is mummy brown so I'm looking forward to open that bottle of mummy brown and show it and share it with you uh, guys I hope to see you soon and um, see you next time